Where are we going? To New York. Yeah. To New York. New York, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps. New York is an assault on the senses. The sound of honking cars. Music blaring in every direction. The scent of melted cheese from street vendors mixing with cigar smoke in the air. From the polished professionals in designer suits to the vibrant flashing billboards. Every inch of this city is brimming with life. I've only been to New York once before, over 20 years ago. And ever since then, I've always dreamed of going back. Now, I finally had the chance. My daughter Reina was invited by the next playground game system to one of their press events in New York. And we decided to turn it into a trip. One that could let me fulfill my dream of returning and give her a chance to experience this city I loved for so long. We're good for a pain. We're yeah. good for a pain. We're gonna be on an airplane. So I'm, I'm scared. scared. Are you I'm scared, scared of airplanes? But traveling with Reina, my special needs daughter, is never simple. I was especially worried about the plane ride. Surprisingly, she handled it well. I got my seat on. I got my seat on. Sure, she complained. <laughs> I'm good. But there were no major meltdowns. And as I watched her smile and laugh, I realized that sometimes we underestimate how resilient our children can be. We just landed. In New York. In the city, we took every form of transportation imaginable. Cars, buses, subways, even boats. At one point, we saw a helicopter taking off. We were seeing the city from every angle. Rooftops, streets, from the water. Oh look, it's the American Museum of Natural History. You wanna go in? We walk through history, from famous paintings hanging in museums to intricate mandalas laid out on carpets. Giant dinosaur bones towering above us took Raina's breath away, while tiny butterflies fluttering their wings made her giggle. The butterflies. The more butterflies. Sometimes we were surrounded by concrete jungle I remembered so vividly. At other times, we found ourselves wrapped in the peaceful greenery of Central Park. I like this place. You like this place? As we explored, it hit me that I wasn't just sharing the city with Reina. I was sharing my memories. We stood at landmarks that had stood the test of time. But now, I saw them through her eyes, and they felt new again. Unique buildings, statues standing proud, views of an endless ocean of water, and an equally endless sea of lights and nights. We walked everywhere, and walked, and walked, and walked. When Raina got tired, we took breaks. Tired from all the walking? I'm tired of all the walking. Sitting on park benches, or ducking into cafe. When she was hungry, we stopped to eat. She loved the pizza. Let me check out your new hat. <laughs> sure, she protested here and there. <laughs> and I braced myself each time. But she also spoke more than usual. I'm not going in. I don't think they'll let us in. Pointing out things she liked. Asking questions. Is this a monkey daddy? Oh, King Kong? King Kong. That's King Kong. It felt like in those moments, the city was reaching her in a way I couldn't. I don't know how much of this trip she'll remember, but it's more than enough for me to know that we had this experience together, that she saw the city in her own unique way, with her own lens of curiosity and awe. I like the music. Oh, you like the bells? I like the bells. Thinking back to the last time I was here, over 20 years ago, it's incredible how much the city has changed. But even more striking is how much I have changed. Life has reshaped me in ways I wouldn't have imagined back then. But maybe that's the magic of New York. It's always changing, yet somehow always the same. 
This trip wasn't just about rediscovering the city that I loved. It was about sharing it with Reina, creating new memories that will last a lifetime, hers and mine. And who knows, maybe one day she will return to New York, changed by time and life, just like I was, ready to rediscover it all over again. For now, I leave the city with a full heart, knowing that no matter how many years pass, New York and the memories we've made here will always be a part of us.